Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect the BitFocus Companion to Zoom OSC so that you can set buttons on your stream deck to send actions to Zoom OSC, like pinning, spotlighting, muting, unmuting, etc. We're just going to do the most basic things right now and show you how to send an OSC packet from BitFocus, and uh, you'll be able to take it from there with some of our subsequent tutorials. So let's get right into it. So I've launched the BitFocus Companion application, and I've hit the Launched GUI, and this brings me to this web page here. Now you might notice that under my instances, I have a Zoom OSC instance already created. We're gonna ignore that for now, because um, you wouldn't have this unless you've been using our, our old preset. So I'm gonna search for OSC, Open Sound Control, and I'm gonna add a Open Sound Control integration. Now right here off the bat, it has a target IP and target port field. So the target IP address, because I'm running BitFocus Companion and Zoom OSC on the same machine, is going to be 127.0.0.1 and the target port, well, we have to check Zoom OSC for that. So inside of the settings page for Zoom OSC, you can see a couple of different things. There's the OSC network settings where it has transmit IP, transmit port, and receiving port. Now the transmission IP and the transmission port are coming from Zoom OSC and going into other applications, but the receiving port is where something like BitFocus Companion can send its OSC packets to for Zoom OSC to process them. And by default, it's 9090. So I'm gonna type in 9090 into the OSC configuration and hit apply changes. So now, when I go to my buttons page, and I've just gone to my seventh page of buttons here, I can click on a particular button, and uh, let me go ahead and just blank it out entirely. So when you first click the button, you have to set its type, and I'm going to say I want this to be a regular button. And I'm going to say I want this to be, uh, let's say, pin, and I'm in a Zoom meeting with a couple of different people, and we'll do the most simple thing now. We won't have it auto-populate the keys or anything like that. We'll just type the names right in. And I want this to be a button to pin Liz. So I'm going to type in the button name is pin Liz. And I'll leave all the styling alone for now. We can get really advanced with variables and things like that. But I'll just leave it as the most simple thing possible, a button to pin Liz with. So now I'm going to go to my key down action. So when I press the key, it's going to do something. And I'm going to search for OSC. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to say, okay, there is the option to send an integer, a float, a string, all sorts of different things. And I want to use the username to pin. So I'm going to say OSC send string. And so now I have the OSC path and the OSC value. As you remember, an OSC command is uh, containing an address and a series of payloads. Uh, the way that companion displays this is through the path, which is the address, and the value, which is the payload. So I'm going to check the Zoom OSC documentation. And I'm going to see how, what command do I have to look up in order to pin somebody? So this is the document, the command syntax for Zoom OSC version 4.0. We have a couple of different things here, but the main thing I'm looking for is what allows me to pin somebody. And in fact, I want to actually do a toggle pin. I think it would be nice to be able to press the button successively and then change the state of the pin from on to off or off to on. So I'm going to look over here and I'm going to see that there is a toggle pin option. And the syntax for that is toggle pin. So. I'm going to type into the path slash zoom slash username slash toggle pin. The username comes from the fact that I'm going to be using the username to specify the person that I want to pin. And we have a separate video that explains how to read our documentation so you know how to form these commands in the first place. And like I said, the person I want to uh, be doing this with is named Liz. So I'm just going to type in the name Liz there. And that should be all I need. Now, if I want to see this work, I'm going to switch over to the emulator and I'm going to head to page seven. There's my pin Liz button. And this is just uh, a web emulator, but if you had a physical stream deck, this would be appearing on there if you had set that up already. So what I want to show you side by side, I'm just going to go ahead and move this over here and I'm going to move this over here. And this uh, is going to toggle the pin state of Liz. So I'm going to hit this button. Now we pinned Liz and now we've unpinned Liz and we've gone back to speaker view. Um, with the active speaker who is John at this point. So pinning Liz, unpinning Liz, and just back and forth toggling between that. So let's like let's make this a little more complex and make it so that while we're holding the key, Liz is pinned, and then when we release the key, we go back to the gallery view. So I'm just gonna modify this to be, instead of toggle pin, I'm just gonna set this to just pin. And then I'm gonna add a key up action. I'm going to go to look for OSC, and I'm going to send a, um, a message without arguments because the message I'm going to send, I know to be slash zoom slash me slash set gallery view. Again, I got this from our documentation. So now what will happen 
is when I click on this button and hold it, Liz is pinned, and when I release it, we go back to the gallery view. So again, I'm holding this, Liz is selected, I'm releasing it, and we're back at the gallery view. So this could be a fun way of just, um, you know, focusing onto somebody kind of like a dead man and uh, just a way to, to bring somebody up on that view. Um, and you can make this as complex as you want with all the different commands that we offer you as user commands. So as you can see, we can start to build something really complex and powerful with just a couple of things and referencing the documentation now that we have the BitFocus Companion and our stream deck talking to Zoom OSC.